What's up guys and welcome to today's YouTube video. So in this video, we're revisiting an old project, which is the grill. Cause as you guys can see, I took the wrap off the grill because it's been about two and a half years on the wrap, on the wrap now. And it was just starting to peel, starting to not look too well. And even originally the color wasn't matching perfectly to the black. Uh, so I just decided, you know what, scrap it. We'll start from fresh. Uh, we're also going to be fixing the bow tie today cause it's starting to peel as well. Uh, and another issue is we're going to be fixing the light bar back here because I don't know if you can see, but the mount is completely rusted and a lot of this doesn't work anymore. A lot of these little lights and these cheap light bars do not work. Now you can buy like rigid light bars, stuff like that for like six, 700 bucks for about that size. Um, or you can do what I did buy a $50 light bar that may or may not last you two years and you just got to change it. Now I can buy this light bar. 10, 20 times over before it costs me the same price as rigid. And it's very easy to get to, so I don't mind changing it. Um, so this is what we're gonna go with. I'm gonna show you guys here. So this is what I have right here. Um, this is going to be uh, a 32 inch light bar. So we're not gonna need the two pods uh, on the side there. Um, and we're gonna be replacing the two pods at the top uh, with these uh, right here. This already comes with a harness, so it's a lot quicker uh, to wire everything. I'm probably gonna reuse my switch, so I'll just kind of splice into this harness. Um, I'll use what I can out of it, but for the most part, I'm gonna use this harness and we're gonna fix that. So, like I always say, without making this video longer than it has to be, let's get started. Now that I've gotten the grill taken off, you can get uh, a better look at how this looks. It's just not in the greatest of shape. Um, so you know what? I think I might actually try and just paint this on here. Um, but as you can see, even the light bars, the paint's coming off of them. Um, so this really needed an update or a change. So it's gonna take, the other light bar is gonna take the place of this one. So I'm kind of happy I'm doing this because um, it really needed to be done and it was bugging me for a while. On top of that, we're going to be plastic dipping. Yes, I say plastic dipping. You guys might cringe at that. However, the wrap held up for about two years. So if I do a good job on the plastic dip, uh, it should hold me uh, probably about the same. So I got three cans of plastic dip over there. I got two cans of Glossifier. So I'm gonna try to make it shiny like the truck. So it blends in as much as possible. So that's where I'm at with that. So now I wanna try to first, I think, take the grill off because while the plastic dip dries, I'm gonna tackle the light bar. I don't know if you guys have ever dealt with these grills before. Uh, I've never actually tried to go this far with it. So I'm gonna be taking the chrome completely off the grill and the bow tie to do it individually. So I don't have to tape or mask anything, which is the same thing. I don't know why I said it twice, but the bow tie is just four. These little clips here you just push them in the whole thing will drop out um, and as far as the grill there's just tabs like this along the whole way and don't worry if you break some you can just glue them back on or glue that section on if you want um, if that bothers you don't go ahead just try to mask everything but it doesn't bother me at this point i've had the truck long enough to wear um <laughs> sidebar once you've had a vehicle for long enough you start not to care about breaking certain things because you know how easy it is to fix them and that's where i'm at with the truck now i don't care if i break certain little things um, that's not cosmetic just behind the scenes because i know how to fix them and it doesn't really bother me but uh, i'm going to go ahead and taking all this off and i'm going to show you guys after that and voila i got the all the chrome pieces taken off the grill wasn't that hard it was just like i said pop all those little tabs and comes right out so now i just have an easy surface to paint here and i took the wrap off my bow tie so i'm gonna plastic dip this whole thing and just peel the edge off because i kind of like the chrome edge on it um so yeah i'm gonna clean this all up with some alcohol based um solution just to make sure it's nice and clean um so the plastic can plastic dip can stick to it got everything all nice and cleaned up um now we're ready for some plastic dip. Now, I don't think I gotta show you guys how to plastic dip. I think there's ample amount of videos out there on YouTube on how to plastic dip something. Uh, I think I'm going to do as many coats as the three cans will allow me. Uh, I might only use two cans, I'm not too sure, depending how many coats I'm able to apply with that. And then I'm gonna put a lot of coats of the Glossifier to get a nice thick layer of plastic dip uh, to prevent any kind of rock chips because when you do grills, you will get rock chips. I just wanna try to prevent them or mitigate them as 
well as possible. So I'm going to do my first coat, then we're going to move on to dealing with that. In true Northern Canadian fashion, I went to remove the bolts, take the mount off, and they just broke. So I'm going to have to figure out uh, another way to either secure this mount or to just make my own. But I'll figure that out when it comes time. So I just got to disconnect uh, these light bars here and I can just pull the whole thing out. Quick little update, uh, put the new pods on. They just go on uh, like the old ones did. Little screws here. These are floods instead of spots, so I'll see how they work, but uh, they probably won't really show much with the big light bar on anyways, but I have them there just for cosmetic appearance. Found some hardware that I can reuse to bolt that back on, so I'm gonna clean that up with my grinder nice nice. Uh, throw some paint on there, a few more coats because I only threw a cheap coat on there the first time. That's why I think it rusted out so bad. It just didn't have enough paint. I'm going to clean it down to bare metal, paint it, reinstall it on the truck, uh, drill some new holes for that and should be good. Got the paint drying over there on the, uh, the bracket for the light bar. Got my third coat or fourth coat, not sure, on there. Uh, so now I'm, while that's drying, I'm going to throw everything in there and wire everything um so that uh, everything works by the time i can put my bracket in guess i'll do a bit explaining uh before i continue um so always disconnect your battery before screwing with stuff like this <laughs> because i started a smoke show over here uh it just sparked a little bit because it contacted but not that big a deal uh disconnected my battery actually found a nice little spot for my, my relay right here behind this uh, put this in here this over here is just my switch, uh, my switch right here, which I'm going to send that way through the firewall near where my steering wheel is. Uh, my fuse comes here and then the rest of the wire runs here through the headlight. And then the connections are just right here. So once I wire this all together, it's just going to plug right into here. So uh, a little update, I guess. I'm not too sure where I left you off. I kind of forget. Uh, that's drying. This is drying. Uh, wiring the truck just while I have everything drying off uh, real quick I just want to show where I'm at now so don't even know how many coats I have on that yet but I'm gonna finish using the rest of that can and then I'm gonna glossify it um, so I've got everything set up here so this is what the new setups gonna look like I think it'll be uh, at least as bright if not brighter than the old setup um, I've just got everything, I'm wiring everything right now, I'm just linking everything together, the uh, power and the ground, uh, and then once I have it all into one wire, I can just plug it into here with the connectors that I have, and then route the switch into the cab, and then into the existing switch that I already have, so that's a little bit of MacGyvering that I'm going to have to do. Uh, I'm going to cut that switch off, and I'm just going to um, link it into my own since I already have everything running for that one. So uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. All right, so it took a bit of figuring out, but we've got the last coat of plastic dip on. All I gotta do is use the glossifier at this point. Um, the light bar is wired up and working. I'll show you guys what I did. Uh, so just recapping, I linked all the um, power together, which is the red wire and all the grounds together. And I just grounded it on the frame just over here. Um, and then I went up through my headlight uh, to the relay um, power straight to the power ground there it just explained that um, so what I did instead of using the um, old switch right here uh, it's got an accessory wire it's got your power and your ground so what I did is I used my original switch that way I didn't have to go back into the cab to actually wire anything so all I did was I found uh, which one was the power, which was what I thought was the red one. I taped off the other two, the accessory and the ground, and I just used the red. And I reused the wire that goes into my cab, like I just said, and it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the light bar on and show you guys just how bright it is. <laughs> there we go. Got the two little floods and uh, it's a combo beam light bar so it's got the spot in the middle and the floods on the side but at this point i'm sure you guys have already seen plenty of light bar setups however this one is unique uh to this truck because it does shine through perfectly between um the grill so all i have to do now is uh tuck all the wires away um finish up the glossifying put it all back together and it's all good a few coats of glossifier later this is where we're at i'm probably gonna do a couple just because i want to get it as shiny as i can so you can't really differentiate 
the grill from the paint. I know it's kind of hard, kind of hard to plastic it, but I wanted to do this right. Um, so yeah, everything's nice and buttoned up with the wiring, and I just want to show how satisfying this is. See, when you do plastic dip right, it's it just it comes off so nicely and. This is what I meant by I wanted the outline uh, chrome, so I just painted the whole thing because I figured it would just be easy, easier to peel than to mask. And it's turning out like it is easier because when you do it right, take your time. Plasti Dip is actually a really nice tool to use um, other than, uh, I guess, wrapping or, you know, any other method you might want to take. So. There you go. <laughs> All right. The next time you guys uh, see anything, we'll probably be, I'll have the grill on and everything will be all nice and buttoned up and we'll end the video. Finally finished. Let me know what you guys think. I think I much prefer that to the chrome. I mean, it's not perfect. It still looks a little like flatter, I guess, than uh, the actual paint, but overall, at least it's the same color. Um, and how about that light bar poking through like that? I really like that. That's probably my favorite light bar setup because I hate the ones that stick out on the back rack or on the, the top of the truck or on the outside. I like that's nice and tucked away and you still get the light you need at night. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. So once again, thank you guys for stopping by this video. Thanks for spending some time with me and, um, just being with me along uh, the road of the truck build, build, because not really a build, it's just more or less me doing random cosmetic upgrades to the truck. But uh, with the truck and the Razor, both of them, I do appreciate each and every one of you guys that are subscribed to the channel. If you're not subscribed, please do at least think about it because I do a lot of cool stuff on the channel. At least I think you, might, you guys might not think it's cool, but I think it's cool. Uh, but anyways, without making this longer than it has to be, thank you guys for stopping by. Like, share, and subscribe. I really do appreciate you guys, and I will see you in the next one.